Understanding the phrase, last lap, a guide for English learners. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an interesting topic to discuss, which is the phrase, last lap. This is a phrase you might hear in various contexts, and it has a quite specific meaning. Whether you're a sports enthusiast, a student, or just someone keen to expand your English vocabulary, this video is for you. So, let's dive in and understand what last lap means and how you can use it in your daily conversations. The term last lap originally comes from sports, specifically racing. In a race, a lap is one complete circuit around the track. The last lap refers to the final circuit or round that the racer makes before the race ends. This is a crucial moment in any race because it is the last chance for competitors to improve their positions and for the leader to secure their win. While last lap originates from the racing world, it has been adopted into everyday language and can be used in various contexts. 1. In sports. Apart from racing, Last lap can be used in other sports to indicate the final moments or stages of the game. 2. In life and work, people often use last lap metaphorically to talk about the final stages of a project, a career, or even life itself. For example, someone nearing retirement might say they are on their last lap of their working life. 3. In entertainment, in movies or books, characters might refer to their last lap, when they are about to embark on a final adventure or mission. To help you understand how to use last lap in sentences, here are a few examples. 1. The racer gave it his all in the last lap, hoping to secure a place on the podium. 2. We're on the last lap of the project, and everyone is working hard to meet the deadline. 3. After working for 40 years, Mrs. Thompson is on her last lap before retirement. When using the phrase, last lap, make sure that it fits the context of a final stage or moment. Avoid using it for ongoing or initial stages of activities. For example, saying, we are on our last lap of starting the project, would be incorrect because, last lap, indicates a conclusion, not a beginning. That's it for today's lesson on the phrase, last lap. We hope this video has been informative and has added a new expression to your English vocabulary. Remember, language is all about practice. So try using last lap in your sentences to get comfortable with it. If you have any questions or need further examples, feel free to ask in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to our channel for more English language learning content. Until next time, keep practicing and stay curious.